Hey, what's up, guys? My name is Acherno, and I am back from my holiday in Germany. So, over the past month, you probably would have seen that there would have been no videos, but I'm back now, so the videos are going to continue, and I'm here to talk a bit, a bit about where... Uh, this is kind of like a monthly channel update video, again, um, where I'm going to talk about where this is going to um, go and whatnot, and what my plans are. So, I actually asked you guys what you want me to do, because I currently have... I think, well, I really have only got two series active right now. Game programming and Sparky, okay? Both of those uh, series are like what I like to call active, which means that I'm actively kind of doing videos on them. But um, unfortunately, because of time constraints and whatnot, it's kind of hard for me to focus on a particular thing, right? Um, well, uh, sorry, what I meant is it's kind of hard for me to focus on too many things, right? I can't make... Um, I can't basically have two different series and devote an equal amount of attention to both of them because as you can imagine as you could as you probably would have seen over the past uh, six months or so I've kind of been um, working on game programming a bit and like putting out like let's say five videos and then I'll switch to Sparky and put out five videos so the point is like um, it's kind of it's not really balanced and it's not like I'm putting out you know, two videos a week and they're both from different series. I like to kind of focus on a project, work on it a bit and then let it rest for like a month or so while I work on something else. Um, and that's kind of how this channel has been going, but I don't really want to do that. And now that I've got even less time, um, it's really not really an option anymore. So what I've done is, um, because I don't know what you guys want and this channel is pretty much all about you guys and making the content that you want to see. Um, I, uh, I made a straw poll and I uh, I tweeted it. So these are the results They're on the screen right now. Um, I only really gave you guys two choices and then there was like a general other third choice. And you can see that the overwhelming majority want game programming, okay? Well, not the overwhelming majority, but 58% want game programming, which is, um, you know, that's a lot of people. So that seems to be where this is going. Um, so I'm going to continue making game programming a bit more than Sparky now. Um, I've kind of, stopped working on Sparky too much uh, in like whilst live streaming. You probably would have noticed while I was away if you were following the GitHub repository that I did commit quite a few things. Um, and I started, I think, well, I started work on 3D for Sparky, but I don't think I've committed any code for some reason. Well, I haven't really got anything to show yet. Um, but uh, obviously that's a very complex process. So I've kind of started doing that. And I also want to start making tools for Sparky as well. And what I mean by that is like a level editor because um, you need, you obviously need to have tools with the game engine. Otherwise writing code is going to be not very um, efficient at all. So that's kind of the idea. So there's a lot of work on Sparky and a lot of it, um, a lot of it is stuff that isn't necessarily too difficult because, um, you know, laying down a basic game engine is quite easy. It's just very time consuming. Um, because a lot of people, for some reason, underestimate the amount of work that actually goes into a game engine. There is a lot that you, you could spend years making just a 2D engine easily. Okay. Um, it, there's just a lot of stuff that goes into a game engine. Um, so because of that, um, I think that it's the, the series isn't, isn't appealing to you guys as much because it's not really about making games. It's about making the underlying technology. And, um, I mean... My channel's always been about making games, and of course, if I start making videos about how to make games, that's going to interest much more people than how to make engines. So, um, I know that a lot of you are really, really, really interested in engines, and unfortunately, there there aren't too many, like, apart from just downloading already made source code for an engine, such as Unreal, for example, um, <coughs> excuse me or anything or some or something similar to that you there really isn't like a step-by-step -step kind of tutorial on how to make your own game engine um so i think that's kind of unique the fact that i'm doing that but on the other hand it also means that i'm targeting a smaller audience and that's kind of bad because i want this channel to grow obviously and um and i generally like it when more people watch my videos so um i can kind of see the relation between these and um because of that over the next year or so this is almost like me holding a board meeting. This is honestly like the way that I like treating this channel though. Like it's almost like me just holding a board meeting with all my investors and laying out the plan for the next financial year because that seems to be uh, exactly what's going on here. But the idea is that um, because I'm kind of 
making this content for you, it's kind of important for me to go through all this and then hear your feedback. So, um, what's going to happen over the next year or so, as I said, is I'm going to kind of move the direction back to games. So, Sparky is still going to be a thing, okay? I will probably work a lot on Sparky outside of, of, of like, YouTube and Twitch. Um, I'll still try and stream once a week or so, but I'm going to move a bit away from that. Um, and I'm going to, uh, I enjoy working on Sparky more than on games, so I'll probably continue doing that in my own time. And obviously people following the GitHub repository will be able to see changes. Whenever I put in something exciting, I'll make a video about it. And eventually I might start doing uh, specific in-depth videos on particular, um, on, on particular features or techniques or anything that I add to Sparky really, so that I can be like, oh, here's how I did this. You know, here's how I added, um, I don't know, masking or something, or here's, here's how I added like a shader compiler or something even difficult, like something really complex, probably like that. Here's how I added deferred rendering or something like that. Right. So it'll be difficult, uh, as, as in, it'll be like, there'll be, there'll be large feature gap, like there'll be, um, I'll add kind of significant features and then talk about them in dedicated videos. But other than that, it's just going to be live stream or offline. And that's kind of the development of Sparky because I do want to grow Sparky into being a game engine that can be used to make games uh, in kind of the same way that Unity is used. So it should have its own scripting language. It should have its own editor. It should be like the workflow should be easy. Um, and that is going to take a lot of time, obviously, but you know, it's kind of like my project. So that's kind of what I'm working on. Um, but yeah, so don't worry, Sparky is still going to continue. I'm not canceling that series or anything. Game programming is going to kind of, uh, kind of, um, take precedence, I guess, over Sparky and it's going to be my priority as far as YouTube goes. So I'm going to bring that back and hopefully we'll be able to do things. Now, because that series is almost three years old, it will be three years old in October. There are, a lot, there's a lot of underlying code there that sucks. Um, because I've obviously matured as a programmer and as a game developer, and I know that a lot of things that I wrote there are not very good. Uh, other than that, it's written in Java, which is also unfortunate, kind of, because um, it means that um, it means that it's not as good as it could be. But that's okay. Um, I'm not going to do something drastic like change the language or something, because um, I, li I like the fact that Java is quite a simple language and it's quite easy to write code. It doesn't require um, it doesn't require you to be a really good programmer. If that makes sense, it's almost like a scripting language. It's kind of like C Sharp, right? C Sharp has some very advanced features, which is nice, but Java really doesn't have those. I mean, it's it does now. Like they're adding some more advanced things, like lambdas and whatnot. Um, but uh, it it you know it's kind of simple, which is why I, I do like it. Um, this also brings back 3D game programming. Now, <clears throat> 3D game programming is also what I feel it's almost in the same boat as Sparky. Okay. Um, I mentioned, I think I've mentioned this earlier that, <coughs> excuse me. Um, I think I've mentioned this earlier, but, um, I was going to originally bring back 3d game programming as a, like a refresh. So I would basically do it from the start and call the old series legacy. So that'd be the legacy 3d game programming series. So I'd add like a legacy in square brackets in front of like every video. And then I started again, except I'd do it, you know, properly because, um, back then I had like, I want to say less than six months of experience of ever like programming basically. So, um, I did, uh, obviously a lot of the code is just horrific, but that being said, um, I don't know if it belongs with this new kind of model that I've set up for this channel where we're kind of making games because, um, that series is almost more about making a ray casting engine, which is cool and very informative and really, um, really good, right? It's, it's, it's a really nice topic and it's something that is quite difficult to do. Um, but that is more of an engine than a game. So I don't know where that lies with you guys. Um, the problem is if I start making videos about games, it's almost like this channel is going to talk, turn into like a unity tutorial channel. And I don't want to do that because there are plenty of those. Um, and, uh, you know, it's not that I dislike Unity or anything. It's it's quite nice, um, but um, it's just I I feel like I feel like I'm above that. If that makes sense, I feel like I feel like if I use Unity, I'm not really using my abilities because it's so easy. If that makes sense, right? 
because if I'm just using Unity, then you know I've got all this other knowledge about this low-level stuff that is basically I can't apply anymore, and thus I can't make videos about. So that's also a problem, and um, I have to think about that as well. But anyway, this has been more of like an open discussion with you guys. I'm really interested in what you have to say about my thoughts and whatnot about this channel and where I should go from here. But um, expect more kind of interaction with you. I'm going to. If you leave comments on this video, I'm going to spend um, I'm going to spend quite a bit of time replying to almost everyone who comments here if they have something to say other than looking forward to it or something. Um, but that's kind of the idea right now. Um, that's where my that that's my kind of feeling of where I think this should go. And if you disagree or agree or you have other thoughts um, or there are specific videos that you want to see. Um, one other thing I was going to do is maybe make some actual tutorial series. So not like, hey, watch me make a game and I'll explain stuff, but more like, this is how you do, this is, this is how, this is, you know, let's learn Java, let's learn C++, let's learn OpenGL, that kind of stuff. Like, actually learning the technologies rather than using them to make a game. So we might do something like that as well. Uh, that was what I kind of meant by other, by the way. But we'll see how this goes. So thank you for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.